In this episode, I will continue with describing types of the modules. I will show you audio modifiers, control voltages and passive modules. So let's have a look at audio modifiers. Filters are essential parts of all synthesizers. They can help you to sculpt the sound of your VCA pretty straightforward. There are signal processors, which can alter the harmonic content of a signal and change its color. So now we can hear the rock signal. And now we will go through the filter. And first of all, let's try high pass, which is passing just high frequencies above the cutoff of the frequency. And it's attenuating frequency below the cutoff frequency. Low pass does the opposite. And then we have a band pass, which passes frequencies between its two cutoff frequencies while attenuating those outside the range. You can find notch filters, which are passing everything except the cutoff frequency, and all pass filters, they are passing all frequencies, but they're affecting the phase of any given sinusoidal component according to its frequency. Wave shapers and wave folders. Look at these two oscilloscopes with a triangle wave. If I tweak my wave shaper, which has a red color, you can see how the triangle wave is changing its shape. And that's exactly what wave shapers are doing. And if I use a wave folder, as you can see on a green triangle wave, it's a distinct type of wave shape Unlike filters, which needs harmonically rich sound at the base, wave folders can make magic with simple sounds, just like this triangle wave. Control voltages are any kind of electrical signal which allows modules to control different aspects of another's behavior. Control voltages are for making it more interesting and fun. You have just two hands so they can help you to make predictable changes just by turning the knob or pushing a button and usually you can see the LED or different light indicators to help you to see the changes. Gate specifies some time period. It has just two states, high or low. Think of it as a key or controller that you just hold or push down to make something happen. Once you release it, the action stops, as you can see on the sequencer. The gate is just on when the lights are on. Special type of a gate is a trigger. It goes high, but immediately it goes low again. So it's a 5 volt spike. It's more like a sudden burst, like uh, clapping your hands or hitting a drum. And there is a clock. It's continuous gate or trigger, and we can think of it as a metronome for modulars. And you can use it to synchronize sequencers or LFOs. Envelope generator is a module that changes CV dynamically in time. That means it can shape the dynamic curve of a sound. They usually needs to be triggered with trigger or gate signal, so it has at least two connectors, trigger or gate input and CV output. We have many types, but the origin comes from the ADSR concept. A, like an attack, is a CV from minimum to maximum. D, like a DK, is from maximum to value determined by sustain parameter. Sustain is a CV going to hold when the gate is going low, sustain finish it and the release starts. And R is for release, which is CV falling to minimum. You can have AD envelopes or just D envelopes when you can loop them. They can behave like LFO or VCO. VCA controls loudness of the sound. They are usually as a mixer, so you can put together all of your sounds with individual volume knobs there. I really like effect modules. We can compare them to guitar pedals. Well, actually, you can use guitar pedal with your modular. 
but since it works with the big check that means you need to have some kind of reduction in your modular but yeah there are many modular versions of effects I prefer this one because it's super tiny and it has many different modes. I can show you them. Here. It can add a really nice touch to your patch. Doesn't matter if you like spring reverbs, crash, delays. So far, I have mentioned modules that need to be connected to the bus board with cables. And that means they are active. They need electricity. But there is also a group of passive modules. Which means they don't require electricity. So you can even keep them outside or make a non-power case. And a big plus is that they are usually really easy to build at home and they are quite cheap. Like blank panels, they become really just space fillers so you can cut them from whatever you like. Multiples send one signal to different sources to connect the server chain so there is no input or output and signal can flow all directions. It has slight voltage or volume drop anytime you split the signal. If you want to prevent that, you can use buffered multiple, but it needs to be powered from the bus board, so it's not a real passive module. Attenuator can reduce any intensity of any kind of signal, CV or audio. And switch has one input and at least two outputs, or vice versa. It can turn the signal flow on and off, or you can switch between two or more signal pads. So as we learned today, modules changing audio are called audio modifiers. And the most important one is a filter. You can use it to cut off frequencies. And then you can use wave folders or wave shapers. Control voltages and signals are helping us to make changes dynamically in time. The main ones are triggers, short bursts of pulses, gates, it keeps on time, and clocks, which are something like a metronome. Envelope generators can shape the dynamic curve of the sound and amplifiers can amplify the signal. And then we have effect modules, so you can add to your sound to be more dreamy or more raw. And we also have a group of special modules called passive modules because they don't need any electricity. The list of the module can be really long, but these are the basic ones for synthesis. And that's why names like oscillator, filter, envelope, or so on, you can find in different synthesizers as well. So if you got the idea what oscillator is or what trigger does, then it's really easy for you to play a different instrument or to start your patching journey. And that's all for the second episode.